Yes, oh yes, because we're going straight past, aren't we? We're going past. Levi Roots! Put your Reggae Reggae sauce! <laughs> okay! <laughs> oh, oh my God. Well, that's uh, an interesting one that we didn't expect to see uh, whilst we were in Burger King. Mm. But yeah, we got a Burger King. Look at his little smile on the side of that. <laughs> yes, with little Levi Roots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... I thought actually, we've not actually uh, stopped here before. We might stop here because it'll be a oh different, yeah. different view. Be a, yeah, it'll be a definitely a different one, won't it? What we'll do is, is we'll come here and then we'll be facing the traffic then so it looks out. <laughs> yes. If that's possible. I'm not following the fucking biggest pothole you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, it looks like a massive crate has been made. I think it virtually fucking hurts. Oh yeah, so you've got some free shitty tyres that look like they've been blown up with a bomb. Probably does it fucking hurts. <laughs> yeah, probably. There um, and this is also free parking. Yes, genuinely free parking and you get a beautiful view of the Every cars. Every car that goes past, modified Toyota. You can see all the really, really fucked up drivers. Because <laughs> there's some particular classic people here. Yes, of course there is. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and eat our food right now. As you can see, we have some food. Let's see if we can get a good shot in there. Yeah, oh yes, got some great footage there. <laughs> but yeah. Um, as you can see, there are plenty of people flying by. They'll probably think that we're, we're um, getting them for speeding around the roundabouts. I wonder, how many, the I wonder how many people would start um, should slowing, should slowing down. Should have my hair dryer with me. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Like that. <laughs> see if we could get scared <laughs> some people thinking we're under yeah. police or something. Yeah, just like have it extending out of the dashboard. It'd be so funny. <laughs> But yeah, guys, we're gonna go ahead and eat our food right now. And I'll uh, get back to you guys in a little bit. And yeah. Oh yeah, look at the view right here. Mm. We have a very nice view. But there's a little bin right there. <laughs> but uh, that's, we can cut that out of the view. <laughs> yeah, that looks great just by itself. There's a UPS lorry. Mm. We've just been to fucking Burger King yeah, and uh, advertising. Been fucking late, that is. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll catch you guys back in a little bit. So, yeah, we've been watching some Angry Grandpa Cheetos shit, <laughs> shit balls. They were um, quite something, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely quite something. Oh, fucking hell, here we go. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh, that, that's actually Where stopping there. Where the fuck there. is he thinking he's gonna stop for a fucking rest break here? Yeah. 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 yeah, I think he's stopped. He's just flashed that person that fucking Range Rover to get the fuck out of the way. Well, get busy, have your letter. Okay. Very interesting. This letter comes from Nick to Disco. But yeah. <clears throat> Check that out! Oh wow! What do you mind out with, Jacob? Yeah, that, that was an interesting cool. thing to put in the video. But um, yeah, as you can see, we're watching for Angry Grandpa here, and um, yeah, there's fucking lorries pulling in here, everything. But yeah, the Burger King was super nice tonight, actually. Put extra salt on their fries. So I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I'm sure they tasted a bit salty. A bit more salty than usual, which is quite nice, actually. Mm. So yeah, very good tonight. But yeah, we'll uh, catch you guys in a little bit with an update. <clears throat> but yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Anyway.
Oh my god, that's that fucking Range Rover. Holy shit. Joshua uh. Jackson in Houston, Texas. Anyway, guys, <laughs> Range Rovers aside, uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Three, two, one, and action. 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 Yo guys and welcome back to another video. And um, basically this is the third phase of the Dambo IT for sure cameraman competition. And yeah, this is phase three, part one. Um, all of the other videos are all right now, so if you for some reason are coming into this, you know, randomly into phase three, then go ahead and check out all the other videos. Phase one, phase two are up right now on the channel, so go ahead and check them out. But yeah, basically, this is phase three, and the whole theme of this phase is advertising. So basically, people involved have to go out and make an advert about something like a specific product or service etc so yeah basically that is the sort of brief i guess you could say um for the third phase of the current competition um so yeah we're going to show you guys one entry today which is a little bit of a longer entry, but um, it works all the same. And then next time, we're going to show you guys two, two more actual entries. So we should be all good on this phase. But no, before we actually get into this video, hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications, and we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button, massively appreciate it. Um, but yeah, also smash a like on this video if you enjoyed it, etc. Also smash a like on this video as well, um, I appreciate the support. And uh, you know, if you want to help us out a little bit more, you can become a channel member, you get some cool perks with that. Or you can drop a super thanks, where you can do as much or as little as you want to. And yeah, you can make it like a one-time payment on this specific video if you enjoyed it and want to show that enjoyment through a, th a super thanks. But no, um, with all that over and done with, let's go ahead and get into the first clip. And only clip in this video. And then obviously afterwards, I'll go ahead and analyse it and talk about it and sort of, yeah, go over it. But no, here's the clip. Okay, let's go. Action. So yeah, that was basically the clip, and we were there with Luke, who obviously was in the competition for the last two weeks, and obviously he kind of does these more vlog-style entries, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I actually really like this style of entry. Anyway, for the advertisement, we went to Burger King and, I, and we basically advertised and reviewed one of their burgers. Um, so yeah, that was actually a pretty cool experience to just go ahead and do that and sort of vlog the experience. He's very, very good again in front of the camera. Um, you know, you showed some good entertainment value for the actual video but yeah um so yeah in terms of the actual composition of the video it worked out quite well we just did sort of a, a, a vlog style um and again another thing as well with luke 
He shot a lot of videos before on this channel, including the My Virtual Escape series, um, which was all shot really, really nicely. And, um, you know, he shot a, a fair amount of that, actually, um, for a couple of episodes. So, you know, a good job to him, obviously, for that. And, you know, that really, really marks up on his, you know, name and performance, because we've worked together for the last couple of years. Um, so, he's not somebody who is unfamiliar with what kind of content I'm doing and, you know, what kind of shots are required for that content and, you know, other stuff too. But yeah, um, that's pretty much um, that side of things. But as for the actual clips and the video, I actually ended up filming most of it, um, but his contributions were very, very good to it. And we ended up doing a brief and reviewing a product. So yeah, it worked out really, really well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the actual um, looking over of the clips and stuff. We, uh, you know, yeah, that's pretty much it because it, it, it all worked out. It went very, very smoothly as well on the day. There wasn't any issues with, you know, retakes or anything or scheduling, which is good. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I really have to say about this. Um, so yeah, obviously we're going to have to wait for the next entries to come in. Um, but these, they're in the process of actually happening. Um, but should be coming very, very soon. So stay tuned, subscribe um, if you want some more entries to come into these videos. Yeah, and this is going to be over very, very soon when I have the actual official Danby YT official cameraman. And they're going to be permanent. Permanently on this channel. <sighs> Content can only go up from here. It can only go up. Keep cut and action. But yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, smash a like on the video and subscribe. Um, yeah, hit the subscribe button, try and get to 100k, obviously. Um, but yeah, no, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Time is upon us. The time is upon us. It's all straightforward from here. Kick out one contestant. Two left. Kick out another. We have the cameraman. Show no mercy. Show no mercy <laughs> oh did see you guys there <laughs> subscribe um uh, more entries coming soon bye i realize this is a very dumb video but guess what you fucking clicked on it <laughs>
Um, and then I was gonna go to the bathroom, fill it up, come back and be like, don't worry, it's filled. Sip water whilst reacting to the comments. Um, but I had to do two takes because the first time it failed. So I emptied the cup of water in the bathroom, came back, sat there re refilming, right? Didn't realize there was a tiny bit of water left in this cup that I didn't notice. Like not all of it got poured away. And I went like this to like throw at the camera, you know, faking it like the good actor I am. And uh, water went everywhere, over my iPad, everywhere. Um, and then, oh, you you just you're just gonna have to see the clip. You just just watch, just just watch. It. It'll make sense. Next question. No wonder everyone's magically talking about y'all again. I knew all the, the fuck had to be up to something. I'm a theatre kid. <laughs> It was at this moment that she knew. She fucked up. Well, I was gonna say it's been empty the whole time and go off on a massive tangent about how I'm, I'm a good actor. <laughs> but I, I thought it was empty, but it had a bit of water in it and I just threw it at the camera. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping this in, it's, it's too funny. It's, it is too funny. For a bit of context, my idea was, I was going to sit here with an empty cup and be like, oh yeah, sipping, but then it had nothing in and I was like, oh yeah, I got you. Oh, I just did it again. But, because I had water in, I thought, oh, there's nothing in this, I, I can like throw it. But it still had the tiniest bit in, like literally that much. And it went everywhere. <laughs> like, I wasn't being an idiot. Are you sure about that? Uh, no, 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 we'll, we'll just put it down to me being an idiot. That's what we'll do. Well, um, that was that. <laughs> um, I, I just thought this should be a video in itself because it's hilarious. Well, it might not be funny to you, but it's definitely funny to me. Um, yeah, funnier than the original scripted abomination that I was going to film. Um, because it was more natural. So yeah, um, it could have gone off in one direction, but it went off in another direction. But I'm cool with that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is why I don't film YouTube videos, bye. Make sure you fucking smash that dislike button. Not every video is gonna be amazing, okay? What were your standards? This shit is free on the internet. <laughs>
Hmm. I wonder if my girlfriend's done anything with it. Cause I, I would have sworn it was always there. Like, I, I could have sworn. It was literally right there last time. I grabbed it for the review and placed it back there. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and you know what? You know what? I'll call my girlfriend. Oh, yeah. I'll go on. I'll go ahead and call her right now, and we'll get to the bottom of this right here. But if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications. And yeah, go on with this call and get to the bottom of this. Uh, so guys, um, I guess we're just gonna fuck upside down now. Um, no, I'm joking, guys. Okay, so. Kind of annoying. So I text Nat and she texts back to me and basically Yeah, so she texts back to me as basically said If you want to find it, then you gotta look around. So currently she's basically sending me on this fucking hunt for my £1,000 Sonic Screwdriver prop replica in this room. So we're actually going to go ahead and just start hunting. We've already done that right there. So let's go to the next course of action. So you're going to be under here. Um... Well, I suppose you could check just by feeling around. I don't think it'd be on the edges though. And that's a no, that just creases. I don't think it's that. Um, shelves. Shelves could be a good bet. Ah, pillows, pillows, or under the teddy bears. Um, well. Nope. Can't see any under there. It's not going to be there because I'll go down the side of the bed on the top there. No, I don't think so. It doesn't look like anything's on the top there either. Um, guys. Shelves. Nope. Nothing on the shelves. See, this is good about having this camera on a gorilla pod because like this is my height and just like looking around here like, I can't see down the back of the shelves which I can see perfectly well on this camera so that's actually a good benefit to this um, little piece of vlogging right okay I guess we have to check the drawers now um, See, these things are gonna get trapped. Things are literally gonna get trapped, and it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Uh, under the bed. Uh, I'll see, see if you guys can see anything under there. That's just gonna be upside down for you guys, but. Uh, maybe? No, that's Grogu. Uh, well, to be honest with you, I can't seem to see it anywhere. Um. Ah, uh, drawers. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, well... This is actually pretty cool, because I'm getting this, uh... I'm getting this... The Master's Laser Screwdriver. But, uh, I'm getting it in prop replica form very, very soon. So, that's actually pretty cool. Um... I guess we gotta check this one too. Nope! That one's full of DVDs. So it's not gonna be in there. And it looks pretty much untouched. Um, where else could it be? Uh, 
Um, you know, I'm going to search all of this, and I'll get back to you guys in a little bit because I'm not going to be. I'm not going to film all of this. I'll let you guys know when I've got an update. Um, but yeah, guys. You know, I'll split. I'll split this into a separate vlog. Um, because this has been running for a little bit now. Um, probably about seven or eight minutes, which is a sort of ideal time for a vlog these days. The uh, YouTube algorithm seems to favour videos around the eight minute mark at the moment. Fuck, I may I messed up. I messed up my bad guys for this video. Let me just straighten the shit out. Okay, that's gonna look a little bit better for now. But yeah, basically what I was saying is the YouTube algorithm seems to be a little bit more supportive of the videos around eight minutes long and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully this video hits the sweet spot and gets pushed out to you guys so that you guys can watch this kind of content. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upload this fairly recently, so uh, if you've got any comments um, or suggestions as to where this may, where in this room she could have hidden it, um, then please go ahead and uh, drop me a suggestion uh, in the comments down below. If I do see it, um, I will check, but um, I'm going to literally edit this video now and upload it, and then I'll get back to looking um, um, right here. Or I could, I don't know, um, we'll see what happens, and yeah, I'll give you guys an update in the next video, definitely though. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, please comment, like, and subscribe, I'd appreciate it if you guys could hit the subscribe button, also drop a super thanks, uh, any, you know, support really, really helps this channel out quite a lot, so, um, drop a super thanks if you can do, and yeah, thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Okay, let's go ahead and upload this video. And hopefully... This happens at the worst time. Fuck, this thing's still on. guys so guys um this will be a new vlog um and i have just spent quite a bit of time exploring around my room to find one of the prop replicas that my girlfriend decided to hide from me yesterday when she came over update um she actually disclosed to me where it is and, um, well, she put it in the most random place. Why did I not check in here? Um, um, oh, she actually just left it here. Um, surprisingly, she put it upside down, which is actually quite good, because I believe my address is on the other side of that, and I don't want that to be leaked. So, yay for me. Um, but yeah, here we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this right now off camera uh, so I can get my dress kind of out of the shot here we go it's kind of folded over now here we go and there it is oh I'm glad that she I'm glad that she didn't tamper with it that I know of actually I'm gonna go ahead and check because um doesn't look quite how I wrapped it last time. I'm kind of one of the types of people who would really remember something like that. Like, I'm terrible at remembering, like, dates and birthdays and stuff like that, but, um, actual events, I'm actually pretty decent at remembering. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, this is the 12th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. Uh, and I'm basically going to do a video where I uh, compare it to the character options toy, which 
It's actually in that little drawer over there. I should have probably got that whilst I was actually looking. Um, but I'll go get it in a bit. Um, I'm going to just show you guys this first. So, as you guys can see, we've got a lot of cool things, including a certificate of authenticity. And whew, it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I have not touched this in so long, so I hope you guys, I hope you guys are ready, honestly, like, I've not opened this in such a long time, okay, in three, uh, okay, let's do like a proper countdown for this, look, it's, it's literally signed by the person who made the props, okay, let's count down on this, three, two, one, okay, let's go! Um, I don't know about you guys, but this doesn't look very metallic. It actually feels very plasticky. Which means... Let me, let me just, let me just do a little check. See if this just stays down. Yeah, this is the this is the character options toy. That... So that means that she did tamper with it, and this thing was put in there. <sighs> Guys, this is very annoying. Because now, my £1,000 prop replica... Oh, my camera's actually not focusing right now. Um, hopefully this will fix it. Okay, there we go. We're back on track now. But yeah, as you guys can see... Um, Yeah, this means my prop replica's around here somewhere. Which is annoying. But I guess I better go ahead and find it. For the whole video's sake. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and find that right now. Uh, you know what, I'm going to actually go ahead and turn off the camera. And I'll turn on the camera again when I have found this because I'm gonna have to go looking around this room again because now it could be in any place but I know where I've checked already so hopefully that should narrow it down there's a couple of places in this room I could check right now um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and check them right now and see but yeah I'll, I'll catch you guys back in a bit okay guys okay guys I have found it, and it is in the most randomly sneaky and mysterious place, but underneath this hood right here, it is actually quite nicely tucked away under here. But yeah, this, guys, is the prop replica. And I'm going to go ahead and put it straight back in the box right now for the video, but, um, yeah, that is uh, it's a very interesting video. Um... I, I guess I could say that, um, because, like, right here we have the character options toy, and then we have the actual very expensive thousand oh, pound prop replica right there. And, yeah, um, that was a punt, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna go gonna get back on the bed now. But, yeah, guys, it was hidden literally right under there. You would not have known. Um, but yeah, guys, as you can see, this one is the real one. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and shoot this video right now. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and shoot the video. Uh, there should be another video coming very, very soon where I actually review the Masters Laser Screwdriver as well as I'm going to actually go ahead and compare it to the Character Options version too. So, 
that should be a very interesting video. But uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, so I want to say, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, this was a prank that actually went right for my girlfriend's half. Uh, this definitely wasted a, a bit of my time just looking around for all of this and stuff. Uh, a few hours, maybe. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I better get this review out very, very soon. So thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers, so I'd appreciate it if you guys could hit that subscribe button. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Um, peace. Hello. And welcome. 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 To the cameraman competition. Round. Three. Phase three, sorry. Phase three, part two. <laughs> this is where we decide who goes on to the final round of the cameraman competition. We have two more entries to look at today. We have two more entries. You know what? Considering we're getting to the big guns of this competition, with only one last round, one final video after this video on the cameraman competition. Sudden death. Sudden death. An action. Sudden death. Change the background. I didn't like the other background. It's too complex. Too much going on. This one's a bit more simple. But really, I don't like. I don't like any of these backgrounds. You know what? Fuck it. Let's switch again. So, now is the time to review and then pick two of the three contestants to go through into the last round of the cameraman competition. We call it sudden death because, well, I suppose it's a quick ending. So a very long competition, but well, that's for the next video. Let's get into the entries. By the way, um, by the way, I've changed up the background because. I guess I'm the creator, so I can do whatever the fuck I want in this video. Really? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I guess I'll just cut that bit out of the video. But um, yeah. So cameraman competition. Um, yeah. So let's look at the first contestant right now. Um. Oh shit, I forgot to say. 
so this this week's is adverts. So we're doing adverts this week, so that's pretty fun. Um Luke's entry will be in next week's. Hopefully, if you made it if you made it this far. Oh fuck, okay, cut that part. Okay, let's get into these videos. Let's go. And action. So guys, as you can see, I have the first <coughs> first video. First video ready. So we're gonna go ahead, watch this first video, and then we're gonna basically look over it properly and Critique it, I guess. Yeah, that's that's a word. Listen up guys, it's time to talk about the new Childish Energy by TGF Bro. Where do I even begin with Childish Energy? Well, we'll begin with the website. Oh my gosh, you have to check this out. As you can see, loads of different products, different flavours of energy drinks, and of course, a variety of different shakers. Here we have the Tropic Storm flavour. Now, let me tell you how to make the drink so you put the powder in. Then you add the water and then you shake it up a bit and boom, simple as that. There we go. AT Zero Fever Part 2, the sixth mini album. Pick it up today from your local album store. This album includes one photo book. Featuring photos of the members. Minus Mingi, because he actually didn't participate in this comeback. Hong Ju, Songhua, Yunho, Yosang, 
San, Wu Young, Zhong Ho. It includes two random photo cards. You could even pull your bias. Includes eight postcards featuring the lyrics and the track list on the back of them. It also includes one awesome sticker sheet and last but not least, the CD. Purchase Zero Fever Part 2 today, the sixth mini album. So guys, uh, we are here on this video right here. And we're going to do a bit of a review of our McDonald's uh, since we've been having Burger King a lot lately, so we finally had a bit of a change. Yes, so oh. we're going with some McDonald's quarter pounders. Uh, I've got a double quarter pounder as well. So. By the way, it's very cold outside, so yeah. we're like heating ourselves up. It was actually kind of getting a little bit warmer um, going back the last couple of days and then for some reason it's it's gone really cold. Yeah, it's gotten really cold now, so we got them heaters blasting up, and um, yeah, we got some beautiful entertainment today. We've got the local chavs, which are somewhere in that direction. <laughs> um, you'll probably be able to see them fucking zooming around. In a second, I was Yeah, they never stay in the same place for too long. Yeah, it, it all uh, demented jackets. They were probably like them ones that they probably buy from fucking reduced sales. Probably. Yeah, I, could, I, I doubt they. They probably work at the Smackies actually. <laughs> they probably actually do. I'm not surprised that they did. Flipping up them burgers. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my food right now, and then we'll catch you guys back in a little bit. Uh, I'll give you guys a bit of a review on that, and yeah, see you guys in So guys, we're watching some Angry Grandpa videos as usual. Uh, we're still at McDonald's by the way. But yeah, um, yeah, no, a double quarter pound, I definitely recommend it. Uh, how was yours? Good? Yeah, no. Yeah, we're all good here. For... <laughs> Oh. Yeah, McDonald's or Burger King and Angry Grandpa is just a great combination. For both. Yeah. Okay, now what did that fucking car do? I... I... A voxel thing which <laughs> flew past was like, it went around the fucking corner when you were filming it yourself and it yeah. went literally going side, side to side. Oh my god. <laughs> That's why I literally went like, what the fuck? <laughs> literally watch it go down, literally go... <laughs> yeah, you get some very strange people around here. Or just maniacs. So yeah, some absolute maniacs. But yeah guys, uh, we're gonna go from McDonald's and I'll catch you guys in an update in a bit. Later. It's fucking Tina. Let's go. Yeah, I love how Tina calls everyone a fat ass, but she's actually fat herself. Yeah. Have <laughs> fun. Uh, not as fat as. Fat food you Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No, it's a two hour. What? It's a two hour compilation. Oh, I was going to say that definitely wasn't. Right, happening. everyone's moving around here. <laughs> Even a 24 hour recovery. Yeah. So guys, we are going over a massive bridge right here, as you guys can see. And uh, yeah, we've got sunsets as well, actually. Yeah, it's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice view. But yeah, we got our Burger King, so we're just uh, looking for a place to stop off at and eat it. Um, but yeah, guys. We're nearly there, so I'll uh, get back to you guys in a little bit. Yo, uh, so we have our Burger King right here, as you guys can see. And, um, yeah, we we uh, found out that there was a little bit of a noise with the car, because we just pulled over, actually, and just had a look. look because... but, but it's so bizarre, because there's nothing wrong, but it was only, like, on 
hard vibration. It yeah. just doesn't make any sense. We'll find out if it's possessed. Maybe it's just a bit of an odd bit of ground or something, maybe causing a bit of a weird noise. Yeah, possibly. Could be a, p a possibility, I suppose. Yeah. Well, put it like this. It's in front service tomorrow, so I'll yeah, we will definitely <laughs> find, find out, out if there's something wrong by tomorrow if they find if there's something wrong because they, like all most dealerships these days, they include one of them free health checks, yeah, or vehicle check thingy, my jigs. Yeah. So I mean, it wouldn't be surprising. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and eat our food right now, so we'll uh, get back to you guys in a bit when we watch some something and. Uh... Get some food. Yeah. Oh, why not? Oh, my seatbelt. We're not driving. Yeah, we're not driving <laughs> yet. <laughs> we need to eat the food. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but no, we'll uh, see you guys in a. Yeah. Well, guys, uh, we got the heat kicking in. Unlike angry grandpa who uh, didn't check his fucking breaker. Let's yeah, just say see, that. See if it was actually on. Yeah. But yeah, guys, uh, we've just been watching some Angry Grandpa. We finished our Burger King, which was very nice. Except for Luke's fries that were... Uh, Weirdly... Well, they were warm when we got them, but then by by the time we did my burger, it started, it started the top. All the rest of them were like, like a fucking, I don't know, like cold. That's usually, that's quite strange that for was a Burger King. A usually they're down. quite... No, no, we've been going to the same one for a while now. It's been great. Yeah. Well, that was a fucking... I don't know what the hell that was. That, don't get it wrong, the burger was fine, but those chips were fucking... They're normally grand, but they were fucking weird. Well, there was though. a fair amount of time between our ones, and I know when he uh, got mine out. I believe they were like a fresh batch or something. Yeah. So yeah. mine were well, actually... I thought that's warm. what mine was, but obviously yeah. it wasn't like that. Bit of a strange one. But yeah. Down there. Yeah, we're gonna dispose of these in the trash cans around here. Yeah. Oh. But yeah guys. Warm your hands off. Yeah, we just gotta get some warm oh, first. That's the wall. <laughs> that's the floor vent that is. Oh. Oh yeah. oh yes. You real feel that. That's nice on your hands that is. Very much. Nice. But yeah, we got as so you can see there's a road there, which uh, the cars sometimes do fly past. At a rapid speed, because mm. it's technically still the dual carriageway, I'm sure. Yeah. See if these little things. Oh yeah, I got a couple of them flying past. Are they still going all right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I suppose it is a bypass, a small bypass. So I suppose it is to a certain degree mm. they don't stop. But, but no, guys. Um, we'll uh, get back to you guys in a. Hey guys, and welcome back. Welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are going to be doing... It's finally here, guys. Phase 4. Sudden death. The fourth and final phase of the Caraman competition. And... This is part one, part one of the video. So we have one entry for today's video. Um, it was pre-filmed, which to be honest, I wanted this last, this last phase to be completely in person. You know, together we can have two contestants face it off one against the other but unfortunately that couldn't happen so we're gonna have to do it this way instead so this video part one um, we're gonna be looking over Luke's entry which we shot um, a couple of days ago so yeah, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications. Um, yeah, we're going to have a camera person on this channel very, very soon. So, exciting times ahead. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into Luke's entry right now. Uh, I'm just going to play it out for you guys right now. 
and then um, I'll comment on it. I'm going to comment on it. Um, and yeah. Today's um, Today's topic will be reviews. Reviews. There we go. Reviews. Sounds good to me. Um, and yeah, we're going to be doing reviews. But yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. So yeah, roll the clip. So that was the clip. As you can see, that was the clip. So yeah, um, so far I can say it, it looks pretty cool, I mean we did a review of some burgers which yeah, worked out didn't it, <laughs> worked out, um, obviously Luke's got quite a bit of experience filming with me, we've been filming together for now for like 7 years, so that, that's a big plus. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah. We're basically gonna go ahead and take a look at the second entry in the next video and make a whole conclusion, a decision on this thing. Luke's entry was decent. Um, we had some good stuff from Luke overall, you know, good camera work, um, he's always good in front of the camera too, which is, you know, always a, a big benefit, because we always like to have people in front of the camera, as well as behind the camera, so, the fact he can do both is, you know, a really, really cool benefit, I suppose, um, but yeah, th that's pretty much it for the end of this video, um, this was a bit of a short one, but, we we have a big decision to make on the new Danby YT official cameraman for this channel. It's a big decision and next the next video is going to decide that and by the next video um, we're gonna have an answer. So yeah, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers as soon as possible on this channel. So I'd massively appreciate it if you guys could hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications. Because there's going to be a lot of cool content coming to the channel. Uh, I'm also working on a lot of other videos too. I mean, you can see that we've got these cameraman competition videos going out recently. Uh, and some other vlogs and p bits and pieces like that. This isn't the only content I make. You know, I make a lot more content. Uh, I also make produced content too, such as films. And I actually do have a film coming up very, very soon. So you might want to go ahead and check out the trailer for that one, The Plague Group 2. It's going to be pretty insane. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, yeah, I do some other cool videos too, like big challenge videos, you know, all that kind of stuff. Go ahead and check out the channel, scroll through, have a browse, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <sighs> the final decision. Sudden death. Uh, this decision is going to be hard. This is a very difficult decision. Fuck. There's only one way to decide. There's only one test. One way to find out. One way to find out. Okay, and uh, let's wait for the fan to stop. It has stopped. And 
I'll be buttoning up this shirt. This is the devil inside behind the scenes. Um, first of all, what I'm going to say is this um, was supposed to be a very, very different um, sort of finale to the Caravan competition series. Um, but, you know, I decided to make some little changes last minute uh, because basically, if you guys want the full story, the full behind the scenes, we were supposed to shoot this yesterday on the Sunday night. But I got really, really ill on the Saturday night and then uh, decided, well, I was too ill to shoot this video on the Sunday night. Luckily, I kind of recovered throughout the Sunday um, and I'm all good now. So we are ready to shoot. Uh, we've been having a lot of heat in the UK, though. Uh, it's been really, really warm. So that may have, contri may have contributed to me feeling ill. Possibly. But yeah, um, so yeah, this is today's um, behind the scenes video. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna kind of run through with you guys um, the plan for this. Originally, we were supposed to have like a big um, thing where Nat comes in person and she shoots, um, and then we go outside and then uh, sort of face off against the devil. I get the devil horns on and the fake blood and it becomes a pretty big thing. Now I decided now to go ahead and postpone that. Uh, I've still got all the stuff and it's still going to happen but I wanted that to be part of the main finale of the entire series. I wanted this um, Devil Inside series to go out with a bang um, so that is exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. Um, so I decided, you know what, we've got a bit of a, a little bit more of a low key one today, but it's still gonna be pretty insane. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and shoot this video. Okay, and action. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> it is the cut. No, that's not good enough. And um... action. No, and um... action. Okay, 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 great. The last day of the Caraman competition. Uh, of course, there's something to be pretty stressed about, to be honest. We are finally getting this Cameron competition over and done with, which is something that I've wanted to do for a while. It's been happening for quite a while. This Cameron competition went on a lot longer than expected, but We've narrowed it down to two contestants. Two contestants remain. But only one will become the Danby White official cameraman. Shit, I should probably open this shit up. Got a big show to get ready. For tonight. <laughs> As for we are picking the cameraman for this Danby White official YouTube channel. Big deal. Very big deal. Picking the cameraman. Fuck. 
picking the caravan. Can't even do fucking anything right around here. Picking the caravan. Real good idea, I probably shouldn't snap around this whole subject thing. As we have a pretty big decision to make today. As for the Dan BYC official YouTube channel, we'll be getting an official cameraman. A right hand person. A teammate. Hey, some may call it the devil's disciple. <laughs> Of course, let the games begin. Let the games begin, guys. Um, through this door right here will appear the final contestant. The contestant who will be making it into this competition, Nat. And she's going to be coming in here to do a in person trial the final phase final phase guys you want do you want to know what the final phase is sudden death <laughs> sudden death the final phase of the cameraman competition and that's when we're coming through the door any second now so we better get this shit going. Wait, yeah, I'm probably gonna text her right now. Where's my phone? Okay. Thumbnail time. Okay, and action. Fuck. Fuck's sake. <sighs> Looks like she's not making it. The final... The, the, the final... The final day and she doesn't make it. Fuck's sake. What is this? What? Fuck is this? Oh, I give up. I I give up. Honestly. Oh, she said she's sending a video entry. How oh, interesting. Maybe you know what? Maybe I should set up the camera. Review whatever the hell this video thing is. I haven't even picked a topic, so how has she managed to do a video entry? I have no idea, but. You know what? I'm gonna. I'll set you guys up, and then we'll get into this. Whatever this is. It's quite warm, actually. It's fucking boiling in here. Right. You know what? Guys, I'm going to review this footage right now. I'm not even going to do a reaction. I... I really can't be bothered. I can't do 
I, I do reactions every single week. Every single cameraman competition video, I do a reaction. And... I thought the reaction videos were over. I thought we'd actually get some in-person acting, some in-person camera work, some impact. Maybe we could make something, maybe a short film, something like that, anything. I mean, the views have been down recently and everyone likes the films, but I can't make enough of them because I'm shooting all these things myself. I'm shooting all of it myself and what I really needed was a camera person to just help me out and, you know, full time, shoot the videos, we can get videos shot faster, we can get them edited faster, we can, you know, double up on this shit and get more videos out to you guys and also get films done a lot faster too. But now we've got this, okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and roll whatever this video is, um, so yeah. Roll the video. Okay, go. Hi, Dan's viewers. So, unfortunately, I couldn't make it to the final cameraman competition shoot, which is where I film in person and show off how I film things for Dan to judge. I couldn't make it today. So, I'm just gonna say... If you want to see proof that I can be the cameraman, camera woman, <laughs> if I can be the camera woman, the Danby Whitey official, you can go check out some of the past films, such as Mirror Man. I know I've shot for the Playgroup one a little bit, and I think I've also shot for Monotone, which is a series, and some of the other short films. So there's proof that I can film well. And I do think I can be the camera woman for this channel. So, yes. Bye. Okay, guys. Um, okay, three, two, one, and action. It's fucking boiling in here. Right, so, um, as you guys can see, that was the clip. That was indeed the clip and you know what she has some pretty decent points she's worked on a fair amount of films a fair amount of videos for me in general actually like to give her credit she has definitely done a lot of videos for me and I know I kept Luke in the competition for a long time because of videos he shot for me but I mean it has been a while it has been a little bit of a while since me and Luke shot a video together, like a, a full on proper cinematic video or even a film or something like that and me and that have done so much film stuff in so now I guess I gotta make my decision and you know I've been I've been thinking about this for a long time you know, it's been going around in my head, like, some kind of record on repeat sort of thing. Yeah, it's been bugging me. I've been losing sleep over this shit. And, you know what? I finally came up with an answer. Now, looking at it, I think, you know, I've known Luke the longest, but... I just feel like... I've had more experience with that. I feel like she's the more experienced. Um, I mean, she shot a lot with me. Um, so, I mean, that basically confirms the experience and stuff. But, yeah. You know what? Congratulations, Nat. You actually won the cameraman competition. Um, yeah, this room's f pretty fucking empty, doesn't it? I didn't pay a crowd to be here or anything. I I just did this video as a thing. But yeah, no, congratulations, Nat. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know you've won right now over 
the phone and yeah I mean hopefully you'll be in soon hopefully you can come here soon so that we can shoot some more content because this is really what the channel needs okay we need like we need proper content filmed by a camera person and yeah we need that maybe we can get like two camera angles maybe we can like switch between the cameras and have like some epic vlogception shit that would be insane Guys, smash a like for Vlogception stuff. Smash a like for anything, actually, at this point. Or just smash a like. And subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Because we've got big things coming on the way. You know, even with this... You know, we've got a new camera person now on the channel. Filming for us full time. So that means we can grind out these videos. Get more videos up and going. Um, even backlog videos so that we can work on more films. We can up the amount of films we release a year. So yeah, we can make even more films. Damn, the only issue with that is the budget. I don't have a hell of a lot of budget to put into these films. I mean, I've just finished financing The Plague Loop 2 and that's pretty much drained all of my film budget. Um, we've got short films coming up soon, so I'm gonna need a way to finance them soon. But I think the camera can help me with this because I think, I'm pretty sure YouTube's about to pay me pay me a decent check. So maybe the short films will be saved. Maybe the channel will be saved. Maybe we can revive this. And well, I like to say revive, but I don't think this is a reviving the channel. I think this is just taking the channel to a new level. This is really going to take the channel to a new level that we've not explored before. Um, so yeah, hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers on this channel as soon as possible. So yeah, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Whenever that is. Yeah. Thanks for watching, can't like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, right, I'm probably gonna get the fuck out of here now. Um, woo, we finally got this saved. Finally got this saved. Yes. It's over. Camera competition is over, finally. Now we can get into some real content. I'm excited, guys. Hope you guys are too. Let's do this.